What is up guys, welcome to another Spring Bluegill video and uh, we have something special for you today. We're gonna use some different unconventional bait for bluegills. What did I get at Quick Trip today? Um, oh boy, that is bacon. That is bacon. Michael, do you hate this idea? No. No, he doesn't hate this idea. Everybody loves it. Um, Heidi, are you gonna touch the bacon for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> really? Oh wow, I was not expecting that. I was driving to the, the spot I was meeting Michael and um, we kind of came to the sudden realization this is actually going to be kind of gross touching raw bacon. Um, Michael, would you like gloves or anything? No. No. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. I got hand. Yeah, I bought um, hand sanitizer as well. But, um, yeah, let's see if these feisty bluegills like some bacon. The bait for the day. Michael, this is kind of your idea. <laughs> yeah, I heard it from somebody else, but. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna cut that open. I've never seen it been actually done though, but. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it should look pretty good. It should uh, stay in the hook pretty good. Actually, it might not. It's actually pretty crumbly. Crumbly, wow. <laughs> Crumbly. Crumbly. Actually, I'm gonna use little nippers here. <laughs> wow, perfect. I think we're good. I think this might have been a waste of dollars. <laughs> there we go. Make like a little wedgie of sorts. How about that? Perfect. I like it. I like it. All right. I was thinking the fat was gonna be nice, but it's kind of warm out here, so I think it's, it's the bacon's breaking down. Yeah. I forgot a cooler. We don't have a cooler for this bacon, so it's really gonna be a waste of bacon. But that's all right. That's what happens. We got cute little pieces of bacon that's gonna serve as our wax worms. Michael, you want some hand sanitizer? Or? Yeah, probably in a Soon. little bit. <laughs> yeah, there you go, purple finky. We're gonna go right in there. There's not much hook point no. left. Ah, no, there's enough. Perfect. Oh, that's a big bait. Heidi, you're ready with bacon. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's see. All right, uh, this is kind of big for bacon slice, I would say. I think this is gonna work actually really well. Here's my first little strip. I'm gonna put it on on a little black rat finky thingy. Gonna hook that on real quick, just like that. Let's see if that works. What fish on bacon? The first. Oh man, and it's not a bad one either. <laughs> yes. You see the bacon. Look at that bacon Whoa. right there. It happened. It's it's real. It works. All okay. right, nice bluegill. I mean, honestly, if I was keeping fish, that would be the size I would keep. On bacon. On bacon. Nice. Oh. <laughs> More fish on bacon. Bobber down. Wow, I cannot get them. It kind of looks like a wax worm now, but it does. It, it looks perfect. This I think, is the meat part. I, it was pink before, but no, probably the more they chew on it, right. it <laughs> Oh, finally, finally. Michael's caught seven on bacon. I might catch one. What do I got here? Oh, yes. First gill on bacon. Oh, yeah. Michael, do you feel bad for um, buying 125 wax worms today? No. Slightly? No. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Bacon coming out of bluegill mouth. That's just fun. So I put my bobber a little deeper, and I think I'm I'm in the zone now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yes. That thing took it over. Oh, nice size bluegills. Oh, doubled up on bacon. Oh, wow. Michael, the greatest part is that our bluegills are going to be seasoned bacon before we kill them. Oh, just kidding. We're not killing these fish. Wow, but that would be something. It is something to think about. <laughs> little applewood with bacon. Wow. Heidi's got one, too. Oh, my God. But look at that fish. Uh, Robbie got a really nice yeah, one Yeah, this there. is a nice one. Tripled up. This is fun. All on bacon. This is nuts. And fish out. There he is on the bacon. Not a very big fish, but again, this would be a perfect eater for me. Get good at filleting these fish. You can actually get a lot of meat off of these and leave a lot of the breeders in there. So, but we're not keeping any fish today. We're gonna eat BLTs. Wow, Michael is on a pack of hungry bacon eating bluegills. Oh, and it's just a, a beautiful Ooh. male too. All right, look at how that thing just ate, <laughs> ate that bacon. bacon. I mean, it's hitting the water and that bobber is pretty much going down. Before, oh. you know, they're really turning on now, but before we kind of had to move the bobbers a little bit, but. All right, wow, here you go. this is crazy. Oh wow, I've had one on. It was just following me. 
Okay, more bacon fish. More oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, buddy. Wow. Okay, this is like I think we probably have 20 bluegills or more on on bacon so far. And the crazy thing is, we've only went through like a quarter of a bacon strip. But yes, all we're doing little strip of bacon on whatever bluegill jig you want. Get out of here, dude. I need some more bacon. You need more bacon. <laughs> At first, I thought this was going to be a waste of bacon, but as you can see, we're catching plenty of fish. <laughs> oh, ooh. That one feels pretty good. Oh, man. Heidi's on. Oh, a crappie. Crappie on the bacon? Crappies eat bacon. <laughs> Crappies eat bacon. Oh, man. You think this guy's been hooked a few times? Holy smokes, poor guy. And look at that bacon in there. Happy <laughs> bacon. Okay, that's... Something's not right here. Wow. Bacon. Oh, it works. <laughs> As you can see, I like to do a long sweep of a rod. I like a seven foot light action, not even an ultra light. I like something with a little bit of backbone for these fish. And if you just sweep the rod, I find that you're pulling that hook into the mouth rather than most people swing for the fences with so much slack out and it pretty much just slingshots the bait right out of their mouth. Uh, so that's just what I like to do and it works rather, rather well. Wow, that one took it down right away. Hungry, hungry bluegills for bacon. The cool thing about the bacon is it's not flying off during a really hard cast. This is crazy. Did not think it was gonna work this good. Oh, I bet you never ever got this on. Gosh, it just keeps happening. Oh my gosh, this is stupid. This is purely stupid. This is nuts. I've been using the same piece of bacon basically all day, so this is just so cool. I think my bacon ran out of applewood smoky flavor. That's why I'm not getting bit anymore. I've had the same chunk of bacon on for easily 45 minutes. <laughs> no, nope. there is plenty of applewood bacon flavor left. Good grief, is that fun? <laughs> I don't care if they're small. If you're not having fun catching fish, I mean, they're not all small. <laughs> that's, that is a perfect seven and a half to maybe eight. That's probably yep. eight. That's what I eat. I eat seven and a half, but I have enough fish in the freezer. But one of these days we'll do a catch and cook, right? Oh man, right away. Oh, and it's another crappie on the bacon. I'm just doing settle down. Oh wow! Did you see that bobber go down? Oh my gosh! Look how pretty they are. Oh, it's just a nice one eating bacon. No big deal. This is messed up. This, this should not be happening, Michael. No, no, not at all. I mean, that that's a nice bluegill. I mean, not giant, not like what we were catching a few days ago, but yeah, it's still good though. But these are fun. Good <laughs> grief, these are fun. There were more more and bigger fish in here a few days ago, I can tell you that. Uh, what's and, that? Uh, yeah. You know, it's, and you hear it from the people too, it's the same guys that are catching them one day and not the next. <laughs> Where did they all go? Where did they go? Heidi, are you really one in too? Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Are you on the bacon program yet or no? You know what, no. No, it's wax worms. Caught a little funny one. <laughs> Probably the smallest one we've gotten. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Wow. Michael, turn that around. <laughs> Bacon uh, Brothers. Bacon Brothers. <laughs> this is messed up. People are probably going to comment on this video. Yeah, we're wasting keeper bluegills and wasting perfectly good bacon. Yeah, it's really a weird day, but it's all right. We're catching fish, having fun. We're not wasting anything. We're not wasting anything. <laughs> This is really fun. Michael, 
Heidi and I were just discussing about how, you know, throughout the season, we don't catch fish. We musky fish and we don't catch fish. So doing this is really a nice change of pace. Bye, Heidi. Bye. That's a wrap. That is a wrap of a very awesome, successful day of bluegill fishing with disgusting bacon at the moment. It got a little warm. Michael, what are your thoughts on life right now? <laughs> wow, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> what just happened? We, we were catching them better on that on than wax. Wax worms, yeah. Heidi used wax worms the whole time. But um, Michael and I each had a piece that lasted for an hour, a, a bacon strip that lasts for an hour on our Couldn't hook. even get it off the hook at the yeah, end of the, the end day. Of the day. So, Something to try, maybe, I don't know. Or was it the solution today? Who knows? There's a lot of fish biting, but either way, that was so cool. It was just fun to do something to stupid and right, different. Right. You know, so. But it worked. Big shout out to Bigsby Guide Service, Mr. Brian Zupke, uh, yes. putting us on an awesome spot where we could try this out. Uh, if you guys want to get on to Madison Bluegills, please check him out. I'm going to leave his link in the description below. Probably one of the best in the area. Yeah, easily. He's, yeah. He knows bad And he is fun to fish with. Yeah, so. big time. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Guys, thank you so much for watching this weird video. Um, please hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one.